and underwent an awakening, spiritual awakening process, but I'm using a word that's not my word. But I learned that this is what actually happened to me. I lost everything. My entire sense of self was, was kind of scrubbed away. And I ended up learning to do life from an empty place. And I had learned how to do this in constellation work as a facilitator. So as a facilitator, what I needed to do, I needed to completely empty myself of any thoughts that I had of how I could help a person or what was possibly needed or even wanting to help somebody. I had to drop all of my wants and needs and everything that I'd studied and learned and be completely empty so I could hear and get intuition and a sense and a maybe information from a different way, not from the learned place of the brain, but from a different instance. And that was a process of learning. And the effect was that information came from somewhere else. And in my process after 2006, I learned how to do life from this other way of knowing, from not the way we habitually do life, but from this other way of knowing, where you're guided from something that has nothing to do with the programmed way and what is right and what we consider proper, appropriate and proper, so a very different way of doing life, kind of got established in me. And I think, I call it freedom. And I think this is what everyone is longing for. There's something in us that knows we're programmed, we are taught to do certain things already since, you know, since we are, since we were conceived. And there's something in us that wants, we want freedom, we want to experience life in an authentic way. And What I thought, what I thought, I'm going to give you a visual, what I thought constellation work is all about and most healing work is all about. See, we're all programmed in a particular way and we think and behave and act and know life through these filters. What did you call it? Face? I call it a face plate. Yeah, face plate. So it's actually a body plate. It's actually a body plate because every cell member remembers everything. So what we usually do with healing work, we're trying to change the negative face plate or body plate or programmed structure into positive, right? So we are doing all kinds of things to move from the negative side to the positive side. But we are not doing anything to release this, you see? We are then just programmed in a more positive way, but we remain programmed, you see? And I didn't know that there was another way of doing life. I was all about programming towards the positive side, because that's kind of the, you know, the self-improvement field teaches this. But look, there's another way of doing life, and this is what happened in my process. And it's kind of what spiritual awakening process is about. It helps you to release the programming, the positive and the negative. The entire, the entire package deal of programming is being released. So in my, for me, that happened really quickly in six months. I was cleared out of a lot of programming. So look what happened. So, there was a lot of empty space left. I didn't exchange negative for positive. The entire thing collapsed, the entire programming collapsed, and more and more empty space was left. And for me, initially, whatever lines were still left on, on the visual are all about survival, about bodily survival, financial survival, survival within the community within um, social belonging. These are core survival structures and they created this enormous terror and fear in me because it's all about it's all about surviving as a human being. But in my process also those were more and more wrapped out. So 
as more and more of these things <coughs> were wrapped away, there was complete emptiness <coughs> left. And the outline is the sense of self that we have. And that too was gone at one point. So there was nothing left anymore that I could identify as Margaret Riddler. There were still some of the survival structures left. <laughs> but the sense of Margaret was gone. So I could experience this, the fear and the, and the worry to a certain degree because they, you know, it, it, it had loosened to a large extent. But it wasn't identified to Margot anymore. I could see it's a universal thing. We all have the same fears. And who I really am is the empty space that is everything. Can you see how there's an instance in us that tells us we are the thoughts that we think and we are the feelings that we feel and we are the emotions that we experience and we are doing these behaviors. But what happened for me, that, I call it a claiming function, at one point disappeared. And <coughs> even though some of the programming was still left, I couldn't identify anymore towards it. And my identification with who I am ended up being with this empty space. So this very solid sense of self that we have that's tied to the body, for me, ended up now being there. And it was like, I am like way more than this body. This body didn't feel so solid anymore. It was almost like a see-through and move-through um, vehicle without this solid boundary anymore. So my invitation for you today, yes, we are going to look at programming, because we're all programmed in a particular way. Constellation work is a fascinating and quick way to release programming we inherited, because all programming is inherited. It all comes from the past. But my invitation is, let's not make it better. Let's release it. Okay. So, in an instant, we can release a program, and then it's gone, and it's no longer there. So that's my invitation for the day. Let's use whatever constellation shows up that we're going to work with. Use it for yourself to break down the programming, however strong it is in you, a particular programming that we'll be looking at. Just be courageous enough and willing enough to say, okay, I'm just not going to carry it anymore. I'm just not going to let it run in me anymore. I'm going to truly go for freedom. And what that looks like is that you will, you will access, you will act as a different kind of knowing where you will know what is right for you regardless of what the programmed way is. So you're going to have to step out of maybe doing things the habitual way because a new way may surface in you to explore something different. And you're going to, be have, you're going to have to be courageous to follow those guidance as it comes to, comes to you through a direct knowing. So it's a very different way of standing in life. In constellation work, when you stand in as a representative, you have the opportunity to experience this other way of knowing. Because you will suddenly have a sense, I don't want to talk to this person that's opposite me, or I want to run away. You are accessing a field of what another person experiences here. But when you're outside in life, you have the ability to connect with this greater field of life. And in the same way it connects with you in constellation work through a representation, you're always having access to it in life as well. So constellation work is a great tool to learn how to listen to a different voice and how to allow a different acting to access your body. Instead of doing the habitual way, suddenly you may just notice, my body doesn't want to do this. Hmm, maybe I need to pay attention. Maybe there's something else that wants to surface in me that I'm not, I'm not conscious of. I don't know how to do this yet. 
So it's really a process of releasing the old, releasing all the old programming, because everything that we do is programmed. And then become available that something new can operate through you. And that will be authentic and real and true to you. And from this, who knows what kind of a world we can create and what kind, uh, what kind of a life you can create because it will come from an authentic and no longer programmed way. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's the invitation. And I had to go through this process because I didn't understand this part. <coughs> Before, I was all about changing negative to positive and remaining solid as a Margot Riddler program structure. And now it's about, and, the, and what I'm offering you is loosen that sense of who you are as a person and allow much more of your true nature to flow through you and operate through you.